Welcome all my Geminis. This is your general reading for September between now and the end of September for rising moon or sun or Venus, Mars, wherever you feel it applies and wherever you feel it resonates. Um, this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate. Gemini between now and the end of September 2017. Spirit guys, show me what they need to know. Spirit guys, show me what they need to know between now and the end of September 2017. Gemini between now and the end of September 2007. Good grief. Gemini between now and the end of September 2017. Spirit guides, show me what they need to know, please. Between now and the end of September 2017, Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? What guidance does Gemini need between now and the end of September 2017, Gemini? Gemini. Between Gemini. For Gem Gemini between now and the end of September 2017, Gemini. Okay. The bottom of the deck, you have the seven of pentacles upright. So you're in your head um, because I see her in her head thinking about whether or not what she has invested in or has planted seeds in the ground is going to bring any return. She's looking at it and she's wondering, did she make the right move? Did she, you know, put her efforts in the right place so it could be in anything financial romantic relationships any relationships you're just really wondering if you made the right choice in investing your time or efforts in something now this is you unfortunately and hopefully i don't know it could be you or someone else that's also an air sign that is in the reverse this person is not happy this person is can be really <laughs> just really um direct and really mean and spiteful because they're in the reverse so you could be really mad at someone or or someone is very upset let's just put it that way we're we're not happy right now because next to it we have the ace of cups in reverse so there could be you know like you're you're upset maybe because there isn't a beginning in a relationship or you're you're falling out of love with someone you know you're just because this upright is a new happy um, beginning in love or something that fulfills you emotionally. Well, right now you're feeling unfulfilled. You're not happy. Something is making you very unhappy and dissatisfied. Um, and then right next to it, you have the tower upright. And the tower upright could be, it's basically something that happens that just re, it's just like, oh, what is the word? I can't talk. It's something that, something that um, throws, it's like the universe coming in and just shaking things up and um, you're, you're, if something could come to an end, something can come to a start. It's basically something that changes your life. It's a big change and shakes your, your foundation right next to it is a star so even though you're currently unhappy something will change your current unhappiness and bring you either happiness or um the star card this is is it's basically either bring you wish fulfillment or um brings you hope for a better life a better future because even though you're not happy right now um, you could be healing, you know, from a situation that made you unhappy. And right next to that, you have the five of wands. So you may have to, you may have conflict with other people. You may feel like you have been having to be defensive and having to fight for you to be happy. Like the little bit of happiness that you have, the little bit of hope that you have, you're defensive and protecting it and fighting for it. And next to that, you have, excuse me, you have the magician. 
so you have all the tools that you need you are the creator of your story so you you know you can make your life happy sad or whatever I, I feel like you you know that you're done with a situation it's uh, whatever it is that made you unhappy you're basically letting it fall apart and you're just going to start new and you know there's a better future and you know that regardless of what happened in the past you will find happiness you're going to follow that star and you will fight for it you're going to fight for whatever it is that makes you happy and you ha and you know you have all the tools to manifest your your future and your happiness and you're going to continue on your path and right underneath that on the third row um, you have the four of cups so you're getting out of this unhappiness. You're done with this unhappy past. You're going to be leaving that behind. This unhappiness, you're no longer going to be waiting and be bored. And you're going to make your happiness. You're going to like move on from this negative emotional rut that I feel like you've, you've been in. You know, it's like you're seeing things because the tower can also be like a sudden change of emotional enlightenment. And it's like an instant change of understanding, you know, like it's an upheaval. It's some type of an upheaval. Upheaval. So you're going to be seeing things differently. You're not going to stay in this unhappy dissatisfied mode you're going to like move on from that and you're going to you know fill your own cup I feel the wheel of fortune is in the reverse so you're feeling you're almost there you're 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 holding on or you're a bit reluctant or you're almost finishing a cycle it's not quite done there's just a little bit of unfinished business and that could have, it's right underneath the five of wands. So that ha could have something to do with maybe there's a little bit of resistance. There's a little bit of another. And again, this could be, you can relate this to, it's a general reading. Again, you can relate this to business, finances, relationships, uh, whether they be platonic, romantic. It could be that you are met with a little bit of defensive attitude or um it could be yours, you know, you're, you could be a little bit of reluctant to make the change, although you know that this is the best path to, to follow. It's like almost, you still have a bit of unfinished business and you're not quite there, but at the very bottom, at the, the last card, you have the 10 of swords. So eventually you have, you have endings and beginnings. This was a really tough ending because the 10 of swords is feeling kind of like, yeah, you feel stabbed in the back. You, it's a, it's, it's a hard ending to something that you have been dealing with that made you really unhappy. So, again, I feel like you're moving forward to a better path. This is the, the beginning of the end, or the end of the beginning, or <laughs> whatever. That, it's like I can't talk. It's like the, it's the beginning of something new. You know, stuff that wasn't meant to be there is just going to be gone. And stuff that is meant to be there, you're going to see it and you're going to move forward to find that happiness. You're following that star. So, you're, I, this is more relative to, excuse me, this energy. You're seven of pentacles. Currently, you're like transitioning from one phase to the next. So, you're still thinking about the next step, maybe you're still wondering, again, if you've invested in the right situations and you're really realizing that you're not happy and that you're going to need to find that star, manifest it, and move forward. Okay, that's your general reading for September. Let's go ahead and get some more guidance from our angels. Spirit guys, please show us what Gemini needs to know. Another guidance card between now and the end of September. What does Gemini need to know? Spirit guys, show us what does Gemini need to know. Okay. You guys got the Emperor. You could be dealing with an Aries or a boss or a father figure. 
but it also says it's stability and efficiency taking charge of a situation and ambitious plans so and this is exactly where I feel like you guys are as I mentioned earlier is really just taking a time to reflect reflecting on what is your stability and taking charge of a situation and making those plans so you're really just in a point of your life where you're reflecting upon this so awesome you're finishing one phase of your life moving on to the next moving forward great and I don't know you know if it, if, it, if it does apply to your situation in any way I would love to hear from you and if it doesn't try next time I will be posting some more videos thank you everyone for your support have a great day